Live from Jungle Kingston, Jamaica, Black Q TV brings you to the real <coughs> survivor, a businessman, a record producer, George Pan. How are you doing, sir? Yeah, respect. So, what's your name? Well, as you call it, you know, George Pan, you know? And how old are you? I'm um, 56, 1956, I'm a birthday. What was it like growing up in Jungle? Well, it's a rough, it's a rough, 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 rough um, life growing up in a but uh, you have to know what you really want as a youth coming up in, a, in a, the inner city, you know what I mean? So did you go to school? Yeah, man. <laughs> you finished school? Yeah, man. Okay, okay. So growing up, who did you look, look, who did you look up to? Well, I look up to a whole heap of one in a star, growing up as a youth, you know, seeing, but Tony Sparling, who was a member of parliament in South St. Andrew, was a man who bring me actually, you know, the political light, you know what I mean? But me I look up a man like uh, Bob Marley and Jacob Miller and them man there. Uh, Marcia Griffiths are come from in the inner city, Ken Bood, you know what I mean? Okay, okay. So, how, how did you find it? Changing your, changing, not changing your life, like from being, say, street to going into the, 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 the good and straight and narrow road. How did you find it? <clears throat> well, it's a, it's a good feeling for you know, you leave from the rugs to fame, so to speak. You know what I mean? It's a good feeling. How can you get the youth them of today? To get a proper, how can you educate them to get a proper education for themselves to support their family in Jamaica, England, or even globally, globally coming from a disadvantaged background? Well, the youth have to want to do it for himself, you know, because if you check, the youth them are grew up in us. So we have doctor, we have farmer, commissioner, police, we have nurse, we have lawyer, we have all kind of good people grew up in this community. But the youth them have to want to do it. Because you can put it out there and say, well, this is what me want, you know, but he must want to do it too. Be positive, you know what I mean? So, them would want to do it, Bridget, and believe in them dreams. So, what do you think could be done in here in Jamaica to change for the younger generation? Well, the, the, I feel like the politicians them for do more for the youth, them. you understand? Like in our community, we, we would have liked to see the politician them the more for them. You know what I mean? Spend more time with them, help them, show them the way. And if them not follow, them can't blame me and say never do it for them. You understand me? But as I say, are you for one for fulfill your dreams, to be a better person. So I'm wondering, how come there ain't no agriculture or farming happening in Jamaica? Well, in my community, you know, we did have that, you know. We did have a farm in here in our community named Social Change over by West Road. And them things that just, just fade away. And we just didn't want to come for revived back bridging. See? But them youth are nowadays bridging, them kind of different from my era I grew up, you know what I mean? So what happened to the land? Why, 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 ain't people, why ain't people trying to do that, trying to...? <laughs> well, watch out. Uh, if you walk my community, a whole heap of land there, a whole heap of land, we can do agriculture. Nothing can do for them, but they all just need the help and the strength from the political arena. So why has Jamaica, why do you think Jamaica stopped producing high-grade sensi like indica or red beard? instead of send beer bushweed seeds and sticks to England or some strange strain. Well, well, you know, I can't say that you have to ask a farmer if um, cultivate weed and them things there. They more can't answer that, that part there. See? So I've seen some pictures of you in your office, in your recording studio, yeah. with a lot of big people in, in the in the community, in the music, in the music world, yeah. the political world. Tell us about some of them. I've seen you in a picture with Prince Charles himself. Yeah, well, Prince Charles come here, come visit me, you know, come pay me a visit, you know. And me and him sit down right, right in the yard over there and you know, have a long chat. You see me? 
me and him talk about a whole heap of things, Bridging, and development for the youths and all them things, but it comes like nothing to really get off the mark. You know what I mean? Mike Tyson and them man they come in, come visit me and them things, the Rasta. See? You understand? So I don't know. So you knew, did you know Bob Marley personally? Yeah, man, Bob Marley, I'm a friend, man. Yeah, man. I was here the other day and I heard you say that every year Christmas. Yeah, them I get a um, I get a, a postcard, Christmas postcard, from Buckingham Palace. And you were saying something like your, your actual picture is in the palace as well. Yeah. Wow. I'd love to see that, but no, I wouldn't. So, what would you say to the youth of today that think that guns and crime and all of these things is the best way to go thinking that they're a bad man and you know as they say walking with their trousers halfway down their, their back you know like, what, what, what do you have to say to them? yeah well that is a thing i'm mean, not too fancy you know man i walk with them clothes under them bottom and them thing there you know what i mean and the youth them i mean, don't know why i'm to that generation brother about them say the young generation of the future but when me do the assessment bridging like the young generation of them are the disaster in the country brother because if every bad thing of them are do it. You understand me? When a them should have moved in the right direction. You have some you to think positive and some think negative, Brad Jim. You see me? So I just say it there. So if you had the if you had the opportunity to, to, to instigate some change, what kind of changes would you instigate? Right now my change have to say every youth in a school in a brother. Seeing every youth off of the road. We came the other day, some youth, I see them on the road and I call them, them not go to school, them not up online. I mean, send my money to buy some tablet and give them. See, for, for do them things online. And I see some of them have beer, game and them things that they have on the things them bridging. So, I don't know. That, that generation of them, I don't know why I'm bridging. See? And them have to want to do something good and positive, Bridget. And the youth, them now, as a youth, grow up now, we understand. Same as a bad man, two weeks time him dead. And then the next man, I follow him and them now check, say, well then, this is not the way for God, Bridget. Because as you come up and say you're a bad man, you're dead. I end up in a prison. Because they're going to give you two things, you know. Prison or death. See? And you have big man who support the little youth, them, and them foolishness to Bridget. You understand? And them, them don't see now where them can say to them, say, why you give me a gun? See? Give me something so I can, can be a man of a virgin or a woman. Give me something so I can have a business and I have to run from police and them things there. You see me? And people can look up for me as a good Samaritan. But well, I don't mean, know you that. The world just got mad here, sir. So. All right, then we've been in, in this Corona lockdown for over a year now. How has how has it been for you? What do you what do you think about everything that's going on in the world right <laughs> now? Well, me personally, I take this Corona thing serious. You know. A lot of people don't, but I think it is serious, Bridget. So I just prepare myself sometimes, eh? quarantine myself. Eh? You know what I mean? I just use myself, Bridget. But I believe that something in the air, Bridget. Saying. So last but not least, is there anything you would like to say? Because this, this, this Black Q TV production that we're doing is trying to reach out to the youth of today, not just in Jamaica, but this is going to be viewed by everyone, especially with you on it now. It's going to be viewed by the world. So we're trying to reach out and let them know, like, going down the path that you think you're going down is not the right path. If you can try and make your parents proud of you in any which way you can by not being a gunman, being a bad man, bossing, doing all of that. You can, you, you know, like, anything you would like to say that just to get that point across, car. You're, 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 you're a, I wouldn't say big man, but you're someone that people would listen to. You understand what I'm saying? Well, first and foremost, you know, but I love the youth, them really look into themselves and see badness thing now going over bridge more than you end up in a prison. Are you dead? See? And one of them make them parents proud, Bridging. Although some of the parents them really now show the kids them the right way still, you know. Some of them negative against them picking them too, you know, brother. See? Them tell them picking all kind of things that come out of their mouth and them thing that wish them thing that one of the things where 
class the youth them fair go that road at all. Seeing car the, 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 the parents them not, not positive. You see me? So the youth them for just know so them for just stop them thing and just live a normal life and live good and make them family and member proud of them bridging. See? Lovely talking to you. I don't want to stretch it on too long, but yeah, well, it's a pleasure, you know. You're a, you're a real legend. When people hear that your name, they, they, you're a real legend. You've, you've got businesses, you've got your production company, you know, like agriculture, whatever, whatever it is. You're up there. Yeah, man. Nice talking to you, Mr. George. It's a pleasure, my brother.